Hi, my name is Ajay Nair. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Arctic Culture at Iowa State University. And today, uh, in this video, which is kind of a continuation of the other we made on how to install soil moisture sensors, we are going to talk, talk about how we measure it and how we decide when to turn the irrigation on. So in this case, you can see in this plot, we have two moisture sensors installed. This is at the six inch depth. This is at the 12 inch depth. And uh, the way we read these uh, soil moisture sensors is by using this uh, uh, sensor reader or a data logger called the Field Scout Soil Moisture uh, Reader that goes with the watermark sensors. So that's the sensor that's buried in there. So uh, basically we have these two electrodes we connect it to the two that's coming out of the sensor and we look at the reading, uh, which will be in kilopascal. That's the pressure uh, it's denoting. Uh, there's a PDF form that comes with it that talks about what the reading should be depending on the type of soil and when you should water. But overall, uh, generally speaking, between sandy and loamy, I mean, there are different ranges. But uh, when the reading is between zero to 10, it means that the soil is good and it's well saturated. There's a lot of water in there, so no need to water. When the reading goes up to anywhere between 30 and 60, we typically look at 40 or 45 or maybe 50, that's the time to irrigate. And when you irrigate, you'll see that the reading again comes down to between zero and 10. So since we just installed this sensor uh, with water in the hole, uh, this reading should be between zero and 10. So uh, this is how you read. So uh, uh, if you are here in, the, in your plots, in your field in the morning, uh, you just come here, uh, you can uh, uh, first connect these electrodes. These are like clips that go on each of the wires here of the sensor. We'll turn it on. Uh, and you can see this is reading 4.6 kilopascal, so between 0 to 10. So this wa the soil is uh, well saturated. I mean, the readings might fluctuate given its soil, uh, water moving in and out, uh, but between 0 to 10 is perfect. So uh, if I come to this plot uh, again, uh, let's say in uh, four or five days, I should see this reading going up. And depending on the weather, if it's too hot, uh, within three or four days, this should be showing anywhere from 30 to 35. And that tells me that it's time to turn the irrigation off. So this is one way of, uh, of managing irrigation in a more scientific manner um, uh, as compared to just uh, sensing it or having a schedule of watering every Monday or, or you know every Thursday, whatever you decide. But this is a better way to know uh, how much amount of water you need to apply. And this can change depending on the type of crop you are uh, focusing on. Some some crops need more water. Some are shallow rooted, might not need a lot of water. So that's why making decision uh, based on the sensor is the, is the best way uh, to manage your irrigation. Again, we want to apply the right amount of water at the right time and so that we don't waste number one water and also don't move the nutrients down into a profile where the roots cannot get it. So uh, I hope uh, uh, you uh, enjoyed this video and got some idea of how to read these uh, soil moisture sensors. Thank you for uh, watching this video.